In this video, let's understand about the key expression when rendering a list of elements. In Svelte, it's a common practice and also recommended to provide a key expression for the each block whenever possible. To specify the key expression, in the each block opening, within parentheses, we specify a unique value. For our second each block, this could be the name itself since it is unique within the names array. For our first each block, we could specify the name object itself, but strings or numbers are recommended since they allow the identity to persist even when objects themselves change. So we can specify name.first. If we now save the file and go back to the browser, there is absolutely no change to the list of elements being displayed. However, the key expression is used by Svelte to diff the list when there are data changes. Or in simple words, the key expression helps Svelte identify which items in a list have changed, are added or removed and plays a crucial role in handling UI updates correctly and efficiently. What I want to do is show you an example where the absence of the key expression can actually lead to bugs in the UI. I'm going to use Code Sandbox for this purpose. Now this example uses concepts in Svelte that we haven't covered yet. So let's focus on just the each block and the UI on the right hand side. I will leave a link to this demo in the description for you to have a look at when watching the video. In the script section, we have a constant called names with four strings, Bruce, Clark, Diana, and Barry. In the template, we have the each block iterating over the list of names. In each iteration, we display the name and we also have an input element to accept the last name. You can see this in the UI on the right hand side. Now along with this list, we also have a button called shuffle, which simply shuffles the list of names in the array. So if I click on this button, you can see that the list in the UI is shuffled every time. Now let's enter some text in the input boxes. I'm going to refresh and then enter the last name, Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. I'm going to leave the other two empty. Now I want you to closely observe what happens when I click on the shuffle button. You can see that the names are shuffled, but the last names don't shuffle. So we now have Clark Wayne and Diana Kent, which obviously isn't what we expect. I click on shuffle again and the same thing happens. This is the drawback of not using the key expression when rendering a list of elements. When you don't specify the unique key, Svelte simply patches the value. This behavior causes the bug when working with temporary state like the DOM state or when adding and removing elements to the list. If we now add the key expression, name, refresh, enter the last name, Bruce Wayne, Clark Kent, and now click on shuffle, we can see that the behavior is as expected. Bruce is now the third name, but Wayne still sticks with Bruce and so does Clark Kent. So the key expression is pretty important when rendering a list of elements. A typical value to provide to the key expression is the ID property in an object, but any unique value will serve the purpose. So that is about the key expression when rendering a list of elements in Svelte. I wanted to ensure you understand why we use that expression and hopefully this video did that. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.